This is the TN Ready practice test for Integrated Math 1. Question number 9 on the 2019-20 version. So if the title says some other number, it means they've changed the test number on a new update to the question, but I'm not reshooting it. So here we are. Solve the inequality 4x minus 7 is greater than or equal to negative 12x plus 14 over 4. Technically, it's the quantity negative 12x plus 14, whatever. So I'm going to rewrite this over here because I need to write things down. I should say that's not some weird thing that I'm saying as a teacher of math. It's literally something that I still have to do now, even though I've been working in it for a long time. So it, if you write stuff down, don't feel bad about it or whatever. That would be nuts and difficult to keep up with all the stuff that's going on. Just be aware. Anyway, the first thing I always do when I solve any inequality or equation is I like to draw a line down the equality or inequality symbol. The reason is because it keeps my brain mentally prepared for what needs to happen next. If I have terms that are on the same side of the line, I combine them using the operation that's shown. Like the same side operation is the same operation. If it says, for instance, if there's a 5x plus here, I would just add 5x and 4x. If they're on opposite sides, I know I need to do the opposite operation. And also, I know if I do something to one side, I need to do it to another. If I multiply this whole thing by 15, I'd have to multiply this whole thing by 15 too. It just organizes my brain better. Now, I tend to look for the variables and see what's furthest away on the same side. Here's the variable on the left. It's the same variable over here, which means we're going to have to combine them eventually. The problem is I hate this whole divide by 4 thing. This entire term is being divided by 4. I need to get rid of that. So I use the opposite operation to eliminate it because, so I multiply by 4 here. So say I had 3 over 4, and I wanted to get rid of this. Well, if I multiply it by 4 over 1, which is just 4, these actually would cancel out, because 3 times 4 is 12, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Or they'd cancel out and just give me 3 over 1, which is the same thing as 3. So in order to get rid of division, I need to multiply. So I can't just do it to this one side over here, and I guess now that I'm going to turn the color so you can see where the new step is. That eliminates this. But since I did it to this side multiplied by 4, I have to multiply this side by 4 as well. Clean all this up. 16x minus 4 times 7 is 28, so it's minus 28. And by the way, the relationship between 4x and 7 here is 4x minus 7, so you do 4 times 7 and put that number there and bring this down. Or you can do 4 times negative 7 and write minus 28, but you have to know it's not negative 28, it's minus 28. Then bring down what I didn't use here. So now I'm ready to combine like terms because I can't do anything on this side. 12x and 14 aren't like terms. 28 and 16x are not like terms either. So I'm going to bring my x values together. I'm going to take, get rid of the relationship, by the way, between 14 and 12x, since it's negative 12x, I could either do minus negative 12, or I could rethink the process in my head a little bit. Currently, this is positive 14, and this is minus 12x. So you could rewrite this statement as this, and it's the same thing and you would know automatically to just do plus 12x. So be smart about it. Get rid of minus 12x instead of getting a bunch of negatives there and put plus 12x. If you don't want to do that, you want to do minus 12x, fine. You'd have to do 16 minus 12x over here. Those cancel. 16 plus 12 is much easier than 16 minus negative 12, but here we are. Now, the variable is still not by itself. I have this weird minus 28 thing. So I need to get rid of minus 28 and use the opposite operations because the like terms are on different sides like I was talking about before. 28x and that would be 2. 42. What do I do to get rid of times 28? Because 28 touching x is times, right? That's a multiply. If variables and numbers touch, they multiply. So I need to divide.
reducing this, well, I know 7 goes into 42, and I know it goes into 28 as well. So I'd say 6 fourths, but that reduces also because 2 goes into here and goes into here. So I'm going to say 3 halves. The only other thing I have to think about is, what about this? What about the inequality? The only reason I would flip the inequality over is because I either, well, I guess there's two reasons. You could multiply by a negative, or you could divide by a negative. And the reason is a matter of perspective. So an inequality is a greater than, less than relationship. So stand in your classroom or wherever you are in your home, actual home. Just stand up and put your left arm and right arm out. Well, think of the wall that's on the left side of the room. That's you facing essentially the positive direction. So if you're going to say that the wall on the left is greater than you, then it's on the left for now. Now turn 180 degrees around so you're facing the other direction. That's what multiplying or dividing by a negative does. It changes the perspective of the entire problem. Now that wall that used to be on the left side, the greater than side, is on the right side. It's a different side of your body. Even though it didn't change, your perspective did change. So what was once greater than, the left side, is now less than, the right side. So if you multiply or divide by a negative, then you need to adjust the inequality by changing it from greater than to less than or less than to greater than. And I'll just put flip inequality which is a very colloquial way of saying it, but whatever. Adding or subtracting to the number doesn't change anything, only multiplying or dividing. Because you can add something and take something away, and you haven't flipped your perspective. You haven't turned around. You've just moved closer or further away from where you were. Add two steps. So you're standing and it's on the left side. You take two steps forward, you're good. You take two steps backwards, it's still on the left side. You have to divide or multiply by a negative to change direction. So anyway, we didn't do any of that. That way, uh, for me, when I divide or multiply, I always circle both sides just to remind myself, like, do I need to change it? In that case, no. So it stays. The answer to the question is C. If this had been negative 28 and I circled it, I would know and I would change it to X is less than or equal to 3 over 2. It's not, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm just preparing you for the eventualities of the type of annoying questions that you might see on the Integrated Math 1 test. Thanks.